All right, welcome back to Nido Dexter. So I am back to the Max Lair Adventures, and let's see what kind of legendary we face this time. Um, I really don't mind which one as long as I catch it in the end. So looking at my options here, I really like the Scolipede. Um, so I'm gonna take them. And I'm not going to have a specific, a very specific strategy in mind. I'm just going to try to have some fun here. Let's see what happens. So we got a flying type at the very end. Might be smart to go this way. The rock type should help out with the flying type. All right, up first, Pangoro. Let's let's toxic first. That should do some damage. Alright, that was a good first turn. He avoided my attack. Okay, we're still doing damage. Let me do Steel Roller, why not? Uh oh. Fail, I forgot. There's no terrain, we need a terrain. Yeah, we're not doing good right now. <laughs> Failed again. Everyone's missing. What's going on? All right. No more missing. Super effective. Okay, we got him. I need health, so I'm gonna swap out. And let's go for the rock type.
Hopefully we don't miss like we did last time. Ball door. So I cannot Dynamax, but we got Bullet Punch. Okay, that was a good first round. And Tangela survives. Should I risk it with ha hammer arm? Let's try it. Hopefully it doesn't miss. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Yeah, it paid off. Hammer arm. Look at that. That was a quick one. That hammer arm did the trick. Alright, at this point, I'm gonna keep Angoro. So, let's go with this fire here, only because of the items. Backpacker gives you items. Oh, there's one over there. I didn't even notice. Do blunder policy. Since I do have hammer arm, if I miss, it'll increase. Ooh, Torkoal. He should be good against the flying type. If he has any rock moves. I'm gonna go with Darkest Lariat to start. You got the high defense. Hopefully we get a attack boost from Knuckle. Most likely we will. There it is. That was a good hit. Let's do it again. Okay, one more hit, one more hit, one more hit. That was great. 
That was great. So going up against a flying type, I'm using a fighting, so I'm gonna switch here. I should have a better chance with Torkoal. Although he doesn't have a rock move. Um, I need to make a decision. He doesn't have a rock move. So I'm gonna go without him. I wish he had a rock move. Oh, we got Zapdos. Yeah, I really wish I had a rock move. Yeah, this is not good. I think I'm gonna stick to uh, my dark type move. Not good. He already took one down. Uh oh. Stone Edge. That's exactly what we need. Let's keep chipping away. Stone Edge, come on. All right, this, this round wasn't bad. Tangela's back. But it's so weak against it. Uh oh. Who's he gonna hit? Oh man, he wiped out Torkoal. Not good. I cannot afford to keep losing people. Stone Edge, Stone Edge. Ooh. Why is he using Iron Defense? He's my only hope here. I am at a disadvantage. Tangela is weak against flying and I'm weak against flying. All right, who's first? Oh no. Oh, uh, Tangela survived. I'm surprised. I thought he was gonna one hit KO. So close, I need a stone, stone move, rock move, come on, stone move, no, why are you iron defending? We have to attack full force here. Come on, we could do it, we could do it, we could do it. It goes with agility. Power whip. Got him. 
We got Zapdos. So this is Canto Zapdos or Cantonian Can Cantonian? Is that how you say it? I'm so used to just calling it a Zapdos. Well this is the OG Zapdos so that's what we're gonna take home. That was fun. And that was really, really close. I'm, I'm surprised I survived because we had two Pokemon with disadvantages against flying types, but we made it through. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. And and just don't, don't forget to subscribe and then be on the lookout for more videos later on. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.